Everybody on campus knows who he is. He is what Midwestern is about. He, to me, is a figurehead of our family. It just doesn't take him much to, to be happy. And I think all of us can learn from that. I look at him and say, you know, that's really a awesome thing to be able to get joy and happiness out of something that we look at sometimes as just being so small. Leroy does so much for our football team and all the sports in general. Um, every kid that comes through here obviously knows Leroy and knows about Leroy in a sense of, you know, what he's about. I mean, he bleeds Midwestern State, you know, through and through. My name is Leroy McCain. I work at Midwest Coliseum. Where are you from? I live here in Wichita Falls. Did you grow up here? No. Where'd you grow up? In that town, at Ray, Oklahoma, where my kids vote live. When do you remember coming to Wichita Falls? When I was in a group home and I got out my own. I first met Leroy when I was coaching at another school in 2005, not knowing that uh, he would be part of my life for the next 12 years. His cousin um, was the assistant basketball coach here and Leroy wanted to get more involved with Midwestern State. And I hired Rob McElhaney as my assistant basketball coach and that's when we really got to know Leroy. Rob kind of became his, uh, he was already his family, but he, Rob kind of started kind of taking care of him in a way and helping him a lot at that time. And then in the process of doing that, a lot of other people got involved in Leroy's life and really helped him as well. And he just kind of became a permanent fixture between the basketball team and football and really, really all sports on campus. My name is Rob McElhaney and I am Leroy's distant cousin. I met him uh, for the first time in Vernon, Texas back in 1986. You know, Leroy uh, lived there with his family, you know, his mom and dad, brother and sister uh, there in Vernon for a good while until he came uh, to the group home in Wichita Falls and that was the first time he'd been separated from his family. I don't know a lot about his parents. I know they, they both passed away before he moved to Wichita Falls. Leroy eventually moved out on his own from the group home and that's when he uh, began serving at Midwestern State. What all do you do for the athletics program? What are, what's your, exactly your job? Make sure Bogger work on field, watch sweat off floor, and when time our game, we we'll go to the locker room and talk to the guy. I think more than anything with us is, is he's involved in the spiritual side of our team. He loves to pray. You know, I care about all y'all girls. This is your night because you work real hard. All y'all, right? Right. Father, thank you today. Thank you for me. Well, girls work real hard. Lord, I ask you help number 12. All she did this year, and she worked real hard, and she did real good today for all this year. Lord, thank you this day. Jesus' name, amen. 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 It meant a lot when Leroy prayed uh, over our senior night. He's cared a lot about me personally over the, the last five years. He even gave me a little gift for senior night. But it, it really means a lot that he cares that much. I can't remember a home game that he wasn't there. He really cares even though he doesn't know everybody's name. He knows them by number. This is his life. You know, you guys are his life. I consider Leroy one of my best friends. Uh, he always comes by and says hi to me. He always sits down and asks how my day was. Um, he's kind of like the icon of Midwestern. Everyone knows who Leroy is. Leroy did get pinned by the mayor. Um, it was very inspirational. And uh, I looked around and saw the whole room uh, on their feet applauding. And I thought that was very, uh, very impactful. And, and it really showed me that he has an impact on the community. Leroy's the man. 
he does does pretty much everything for every athlete on campus and what he can to cheer everybody up. So he's the man. And I think it's you know just the simple life that Leroy lives. And you know he does this for free. He doesn't get paid. He's got his own office, and he's here every day um, because this is his life. Now, Leroy was a worker. I mean, you give Leroy a task to do, and he will do it. He works at Taco Bell. He's been there over 10 years. Um, he helps unload the trucks in the morning for inventory. He he maintains uh, the the areas around. Uh, the Taco Bell on Kemp, and he's been a very loyal employee there. Can you tell us kind of what you do in the morning? What's your routine like? Get up, get ready, go to work, or get up, go to school. What do you think is the most important thing about um, your jobs? A lot of work make money. What time do you wake up when you have to go to Taco Bell? Four o'clock. I met Leroy, I don't know, 15 years ago. He's been here about that long. Uh, it's kind of like the concrete that holds the building together. He's been here a while. Keeps the place up. Uh, um, I feel that when, you know, there's an emergency or a situation, he's, you know, I'm probably one of the top three people that he's going to call first to help him out. Um, there are two other people that, uh, that look over him and watch him. That's Will up at the paint shop, um, Mike next to Taco Bell that he's got a good friendship with. What's your best friend's name? Will. What, what can you tell me about Will? He's a good friend of me, a lot of friends. Me and him have fun, good. Yeah. Do you come visit him a lot over here? Yeah, when I'm yeah. off work. Leroy is quite a fixture around here. We, we moved over here to this store from 10th Street about 10 years ago, and that's when we got to know Leroy. So he's here every day. The last couple of years, we bring him over to our house on Thanksgiving. My wife and I are a billet family for the amateur hockey team here also. So we bring him over to the house, and I think the favorite thing is usually on Thanksgiving, watching his reactions after he eats. He plays and talks with the hockey boys, and then when the Dallas Cowboy game's on, I think there's two things I see him get emotional about, and that's MSU sports and it's Dallas Cowboys. Interesting story when someone was trying to steal his bike um, when we had just got done with our morning practice before we went into our second practice and so we were heading over to the cafeteria to eat lunch and uh, and so all of a sudden I see this man or this person um, pushing his bike outside the doors of the Coliseum. I knew it wasn't a football player but I didn't know who that person was. It dawned on me that hey someone is stealing his bike. I hear this yelling behind me, and I don't know what he's saying or the words, but I just hear the yelling, hey, hey, and, and so I turn around, I'm like, what is this? And I see Coach Renner right where these benches are, and he's yelling, facing this direction, yelling at, yelling at, yelling something, and so, but as I turn around, I see this man on, a, on Leroy's bike, and so he's pedaling along, and I'm just like, well, this guy, this is Leroy's bike, clearly, and this clearly isn't Leroy, so like, something's not right here, and then, it took a few seconds, but once I kind of realized what was happening, um, I kind of stepped in front of the guy, and then he he got off and he took off um, down heading towards uh, Taft. Adam had got him off the bike, and he was running, and Adam had tackled him to the ground, and uh, the guy was flailing. Adam had him held around the throat or something, and he was flailing his arms and everything. So but the only thing I really did was just keep the guy from hitting anybody. I just restrained him, helped hold the guy down until uh, the police arrived. Coach Brent said, this guy stole your bike. And please want ask me you want to file a charge. Yeah, I do want to file a charge. Well, I, I've asked Leroy once, I said, Leroy, I said, how did um, how did you get close to Christ? How did you start going to church? And he said, Coach, he said, uh, you know, someone invited me to church and took me to church when, when I got out of the group home and and that's where you know, his faith and in, in, in his walk with Christ started. 
What do you like about church? Learn about God. He helps us on Sunday mornings with uh, the collection of our offerings. Um, he just kind of monitors things. He volunteers to lead prayers frequently. Mainly, he's just, he's just present, you know, regardless of how, well, almost regardless of how inclement the weather is, he's here on his bicycle. He, he comes early, he stays late, he is always looking for ways to help. I asked Leroy one time, I said, Leroy, I said, um, I said, um, you know, what, what, what am I going to do if, uh, you know, when, when something happens to you? And, 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 and he just said, um, you know what, uh, he goes, I'll be uh, watching over you, you know. So I think he understands heaven. I think he understands what happens when he passes away. And I think he knows that at some point it's getting closer. Leroy likes to help with funerals. And um, and he will help in any way. He will pass out bulletins. He will volunteer to pray. One of the ones I remember is that we were taking an exceptionally heavy casket uh, to a gravesite, and um, and I grabbed one end, and the other fellows, who were kind of older gentlemen, grabbed one, and they were struggling. And Leroy, without asking permission, just kind of shouldered his way in, grabbed an end, helped carry it stood with the rest of the pallbearers. I think whenever he sees any kind of a need, he wants to respond to it. I love my church, and I love all my friends, for all y'all. What's one of the biggest challenges you've had to overcome in your life? Life, work, all time, and go. I like get on, get on, my life, get find me, Somebody right one. You're trying to find the right one? Leroy was married at one time. Uh, was married for about a year. And uh, a young lady he had known for, for years, Claire. And uh, eventually they were married. And, and I know that Claire ended up getting sick. And, and uh, she ended up passing away. What's your biggest goal in the future? What's something you want to do in the future? I don't know. What's your biggest dream? I, it's hard dream. It's hard. Oh, I don't know. MSU has adopted him. We've adopted him, or, or maybe he's adopted us, and maybe we're blessed that he chooses to make a place in his life for as disparate a bunch as we are. He has a lot of strengths. I think when you put all those under the umbrella of overcoming those every day, I just, I just see that as he's just so strong-willed and he can just get it done every day. When his cousin left, um, I asked him, I said, are you gonna go to Abilene Christian with your cousin? And he said, coach, I'm a Mustang, I'm not a Wildcat. And so, I mean, he is truly a diehard Mustang. Is there anything you'd like to see change in this year? I like be with them. Let go Mustang.